you as and ways in which you wish. I just want to make sure that all of us are on the same page. Of course, it helps to more. So if you are, it doesn't matter because the applications that you are going to build uh, and if you are in the software and solutions that you, you are building today, you'll be offering to the customer or you're, you're already offering, you want to optimize and off, offer further, uh, chances to grow with the cloud are enormous. and. I'm not just talking about it, I'll just showcase that in, in a while. So what are the few things which are absolutely empirical when you move, move this path is that uh, the, the kind of applications that are building today are very, very different than it used to be 10 years ago, right? So you, you can very much have a mobile service being written on the cloud which has which will go back and talk to your database who's sitting in on-premise and your, your customers or consumers could be anywhere and reaching from any device, right? So uh, times are changing and cloud actually brings that kind of disruption which, which takes IT industry to the next level. Now, with that said, if, if somebody has to look at cloud uh, or look at cloud strategies, what could be the different ways to look at it? There are four ways in my understanding in which you can look at cloud. Of course, uh, to get started with the, 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 the gray box that you see here consume services from the cloud. What does that mean? That as, as, a, as, a com, as a complete product, some company is offering you a service and you consume it as a service. So when I say that, uh, what happens? Let's give some examples here. Uh, if you have heard about Salesforce.com or let's say Office 365, what are these? These are software as a service you go ahead and consume them and it is managed end to end by the provider who's offering it. The provider could be Microsoft, could be any other uh, vendor out there. They just provide it as a service. You subscribe, you consume. So you take it as a whole. So that is one way of looking at cloud and it could be one part of your cloud strategy. The second is um, build in the cloud. So that is what we are going to focus more on today. And that is where Azure comes into picture. Build in the cloud means that I will go ahead and start building my applications, my virtual machines, my my infrastructure up there in the cloud. Right. So it could be, as I said, it could be a website, it could be a, a complete cloud service, it could be just a virtual machine, or it could be a com, you know, a complete set of virtual machines. It could be anything. Yeah. So building in the cloud is where Azure plays. So. Azure also you can look into two ways and I'm going to talk about that in, in more details in the next slide. But on this slide I just wanted to give you a, a sense of a different kinds of cloud strategy that you can follow in different aspects of your organization. So for some workload it might make sense to go ahead and build absolutely in the cloud and we'll talk about more in detail. But maybe for others consuming from the cloud makes sense. Maybe for others building your own cloud makes sense. And what I mean by building your own cloud is private cloud. right? So you can build your own private cloud and keep everything on your premise and yet have uh, some optimization into it. And the best of all is hybrid, which means that I have best of both worlds. Um, I, can, I can have one leg on, on premise and another leg on the cloud. Uh, that's, that's hybrid cloud. So depending on very specific scenarios, specific requirements, geographies, industries, uh, choices vary. So in some industries I've seen more consumption or more tilt toward consuming the cloud services directly, in others building the cloud services uh, or we know more often that not hybrid comes into picture, right? But what I'm going to focus on is the block that you see on the top when you build in the cloud and that's what uh, Microsoft is all about. So if, if you look at building in the cloud um, is what Windows Azure is. So what is Windows Azure now? Let's come to the crux of the discussion. 